everyone and welcome to another iPad Basics training video. Today I want to talk to you about a new iOS feature which is drag and drop. You can use this in all of the iOS iPad native apps like pages and numbers. So let's say that I'm in pages and I'm working on my um, assignment about the ancient Egyptians. But the one thing I know that I'm missing is pictures. So iPad and Apple have made this actually really simple to do. You just have to use Safari to do it. So in order to do this, we're going to drag from the bottom and we're going to get to our dock. That'll kind of show us the last apps we've opened. Luckily, I just opened Safari. We're going to long tap on that and then drag it up into the screen. And this is also how we do our split screen, but that's another video. So now that I have Safari open and I have it open to a image search uh, engine of my choice I'm gonna actually use Google I'm gonna search for pyramids and now I have a bunch of usable images that I could actually use here so how do I do it well you long tap on the image once it comes free you drag it over to pages and then boom drop and let it go it's just that easy you can resize it the way you normally would in fact if I were you I would actually get out of split screen and make it back into the larger view but Either way, it functions just the way that you would like a computer to work. Let's try one of the other iSpeed apps. How about let's use Numbers. So from here, I can actually do the same thing I did before, but this time I'm going to use our Photos app. So that way I can go into our album. From here, same process, long tap, drag it up. And now I have access to all of my image albums. I can just as easily just go in there Pick the image I want to use, long tap, and drop it over into the document that I want to drop that image in. Again, you have full customization. You can move the image around if you want to. But what about Keynote? Let's see how it works there. Now, in Keynote, it's just as easy to do, but let's try something a little bit different. How about we add a video to our Keynote presentation? So I'm going to start a new slide like I normally would, and I'm going to repeat that same process. Drag from the bottom, open up photos, drag it to the screen, and now it's there in a little floaty bubble there. And now I'm gonna drag and drop a video over into my presentation. And again, it's really just that simple. Once I have my keynote open and I can actually see the full view of what I wanna do, I'll go ahead and customize that video so that it fits directly into the slide exactly the way I want to. Then once it's there, it plays just like a video would. Thank you for watching this latest edition of iPad Basics.